Hey everybody, welcome back. Hope everyone's having a wonderful Pride Month. Uh, we still are on the lookout for weddings that are going to happen this month or this summer. Just a lot going on. So we had the international break. The Euro qualifiers were happening. A lot going on. You know, the next big thing is the Olympic roster is going to be named pretty soon. And that's going to be exciting because I feel like last Olympics, because it was still during the pandemic, you know, it was like a very muted Olympic Olympics in some ways, no fans and everything. So first real, I, I, whatever real means, first real Summer Olympics in like eight years. So very cool. Whoa, <laughs> that's that's forever. Yeah. So as you can see in the title, it's going to be, you know what I actually was going to name this video? And I think I still might. I'm going to name it Kate, Katie and Caitlin one year later. Whoa, that's so dramatic. I like it. I want to see it. I want to see it in lights. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because one year later, I mean, it was about a year ago where obviously, the, you know, the rumors were kind of popping up that they were together. It, it's not it wasn't official one year later. I don't even know if we could consider the World Cup, everything that happened at the World Cup, if we would even consider that them being official. I kind of do, meaning the rumors were true. Um, but then, you know, they never officially launched. Realistically, up until very recently, we actually did a video about it. I thought it was because it they didn't need to because just the way couples kind of go now with Woso. It's just kind of like maybe not making as big of a deal or like a lot of people pointed out. And I think you pointed it out. They wanted to be low key because how kind of things started. They didn't want any more attention than from last summer or when Caitlin and Leah Valti were together. They really weren't very high profile about it either. So it's just their style. Um, but I would say in the last couple months, I mean, they were officially, I mean, we use the term hard launch, but as hard as you can without like a kissing picture or something. I would call that a medium launch. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> a medium rare launch, really. They've been a lot of places together. We, you and I really haven't talked about them much since, I think, since they went to Australia with Jordan Nobbs in mm -hmm. January. Like, we really haven't talked about them. And all, also, that, that conspiracy about the thruple. People agreed with that. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> but we're just kind of kind of back up because they have been doing a lot together and they've been just kind of hanging out and being being hotties yes <laughs> um and you know like we said i have we haven't really talked about uh, we haven't really talked about them since when they went to australia for christmas but i mean even like in even like on saint patrick's day i mean that's the number one holiday for irish people that is the day they are the most famous super dumb question do they also celebrate that in ireland i actually don't know <laughs> but it looks like they do because actually caitlin caitlin posted some cute pictures uh from ireland on saint patrick's day she said guess today is a good day to do dublin dump happy saint patrick's day oh this doesn't say she was there on saint patrick's day she just said she did a dublin dump on saint patrick's day but i think they do i think St. Patrick's Day is celebrated as a national holiday in Ireland. Oh. Okay. So we stole another tradition from yeah. somebody. <laughs> no. So they do. So that's exciting. But yeah, I mean, that is their day. Every Irish, everyone's Irish on St. Patrick's Day as well. They have cute pictures for Caitlin and Jordan. Um, cute video. It's Katie in the car. So, uh, Katie's the tour guide. I mean, I'm sure Caitlin's been to Ireland a bunch. I bet it's fun for Katie to show Caitlin, you know, the town, the city. And that Irish accent. Yes, yes. Oh, look at this, how cute that is. It's a Guinness foam with the lovebirds themselves. That is actually so cool. How did they do that? Is that like latte art? Yes. But <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to figure it out. With a machine or something? Yeah. And then, and then look, at Caitlin found a kangaroo all the way in Ireland. That was actually quite impressive. She can just hide in the pouch. Yeah. <laughs> and then a cute picture of her and Caitlin or her and Katie. Super cute. Um, yeah, I bet I bet Katie has a fun time to show her around. And super cute date night with a martini. Oh, and then Jordan Obbs in the comment section says sexy chicken. Sexy chicken. <laughs> so they had a fun time. So that was all the way back in March. They had the 
Arsenal season. Some highs, some lows for Arsenal winning the Conti Cup, but not having a great year. Then the whole thing with Viv and Jonas. I mean, so, you know, kind of an up and down year. But, you know, they seem to be doing things together, even like, even like this thing that they did. They're promoting pro direct soccer. And it looks like shopping and retail, one of the world's largest football online stores. So very cool. But they did some really cute promos for them. And then they had this super cute moment where they were playing. I don't know. What is this called? Telephone? No. <laughs> no, this is the wh- whisper. No. Whisper challenge. Whisper challenge. Yeah. Or headphone challenge. Something like that. And as we can see, you know, one has the noise canceling headphones and the other one has to, the other one's mouthing what they're they're saying. And I will say, I, I don't think Caitlin was very good at this game. <laughs> to be fair, I think because of Katie's accent, her pronunciation wasn't wasn't quite as clear. I could see how she did poorly. But when but when Katie's going yellow card and then Caitlin goes yellow red, whatever she's <laughs> I mean, good point. But yeah. she could have been talking about street lights. You, you never know. Oh, true. <laughs> a lot of street lights there. <laughs> but they're having a lot of fun. And they did a super cute video of them. I don't know, it was uh, like them competing to save the goal with interesting options for equipment. <laughs> uh, like a soccer ball or a exercise ball. <laughs> And did you notice that Caitlin was not impressed that Katie basically picked the the boots, the regular boots and the regular ball when Caitlin picked like the rugby ball and the the wellies. <laughs> but super cute. I mean, they being able to promote the company like that and have those cute videos. Everyone loves it. They look like they had a lot of fun. We loved watching it. But I mean, they've just been doing a lot of things together. And so cute. And I'm just going to go down the list. I'm going to maybe backtrack in a little sec in a second. But this is the photo dump that a lot of people are talking about that a lot of people, you know, we, we have this idea of like hard launch, like we, you've coined the medium launch because I want to change it to mid launch because I like that better. <laughs> yeah, because we have a soft launch, a hard launch, mid launch. But I mean, this pretty much is it. I mean, this is about as much of a hard launch as they have done since they've been together. I will be honest, they were in Rome and I'm not quite sure if it was just for, bu- if it was for business or for pleasure. Oh, and they posted the cutest pics. Uh, Caitlin Ford says, sick time away in Rome. And then Katie in the comment says, amore. She could be saying amore to the city or to Caitlin. Well, and then Caitlin says, pizza pie. Big pizza pie, that's amore. Yeah. But super cute pictures. Obviously, here's a picture of them. Uh, they kind of are matching. Didn't you say the thing that they kind of remember when Viv and Beth were matching with their khaki pants shorts? They're kind of matching here as well. I was going to say, this is totally a Beth and Viv moment. And I, I love how opposite matching with the same color pants with her shirt and then the I just love it. Yeah, I don't know if they planned a match, but they were the opposite of matching, but matching, which I love. And um, then a cute picture of Caitlyn there. Super cute. And then there, I mean, at the Coliseum, I think that's the Coliseum. Wow, I've been there. It's historic. it's historic. Yeah. It's history. Yes, definitely. I'm going to say something dumb. It looks a lot different from when I was there. <laughs> Maybe it changed. <laughs> I don't think they changed it. <laughs> There's no way that's changing. <laughs> no, you know what? All the iPhones, I feel like all, when you take a picture on an iPhone, it just looks different. Everything looks very fish-eyed now. Like, I don't think, I feel like back in the day when you went, p- cameras were different. Um, But yeah, so possibly it's changed. Possibly it's just the camera. But <laughs> <laughs> it hasn't changed. <laughs> but cute picture here of Caitlyn. Uh, and look at right here. Just super cute. I mean, this abs abs of steel i'm hitting my abs this kind of just reminds me of the pictures from ibiza last year you know yeah. what i mean just vacation and going strong and th- you know is this telling the world they're a couple even though we've known it's even more so just like hey we're just coupling out in rome yeah totally coupling it up lizzie lizzie mcguire style yes exactly <gasps> they should have gone on a they should have gone on a scooter or a vespa and you know, sing to me, Paolo. <laughs> and then look at a very, a very cool picture of Katie by the pool. Very toned. Very toned. And then a super cute picture of them just looking very hot. <laughs> I was going to say, I didn't know Katie was that much taller, but she's on a step. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then another cute picture and then another picture of them at the fountains. Um, a super cute. I mean... 
a very cheeky picture of Caitlin Ford. We're going to get to another picture in a second, but but she likes to show off her bum, and I'm not sad about that. <laughs> hey, you got a good bum? Show it off. Why not? Yeah, she has the best bum. So, I mean, a lot of people talked about this as kind of the launch. This actually was like the day after the day before it was announced that Viv wasn't coming back to Arsenal. So I think even we, we kind of didn't even talk about this because we talked about the Viv thing for a while. But I mean, this was like their lover's vacation. And, I, you know, like I said, one year later, one year later from everything that happened, one year later from the drama, one year later, they're going strong. You know, I, I do see on Twitter and Tumblr and TikTok, there are people that will never like them as a couple because they feel like something shady went on. But I think most people have either moved past it or said, you know, they're happy that they're happy because that was in the past, you know. That was kind of a big launch. And as we know, uh, Katie went to Australia uh, for the Arsenal game. And like we talked about, I don't think she was going to miss that for anything because she was there. I'm sure Caitlin's family went to the game and she got to be in Australia Caitlin obviously is staying there because for the Olympics, but uh, somebody even in our comment section wrote that they were at the game and Katie got like the most massive cheer out of anyone from Arsenal. I mean, other than the Australians, people love her down there. And we we've been told this before, and I guess it's common knowledge. There's a lot of Irish people in Australia mm. and they a they love they love anything Irish, but they specifically love Katie McCabe. I mean, a couple other things that have been going on. Um, so they went to Australia. And also that kind of leads me to uh, the the Australian roster for the Olympics have been announced. And Caitlin Ford is on that roster. So, I mean, is Kate Katie going to go to Paris to support her girl in Paris? Ooh, we? Oui. Yeah. That's yes for French. <laughs> <laughs> I would assume so. And I'll tell you why. The... The train from or the train or the plane or the transportation between London and Paris, I don't think it's that far. I think it's like two hours or something. If Caitlin, if the Matildas win or do well or place or something, we might we they might make out uh, in celebration. <laughs> they might be the next uh, Christy and Sam. Yes. We shall see. Which I would freaking love. I think that'd be so cute. And I could see if Matildas do well. There's only, what, 12 teams? Matildas, the Matildas could win this thing. It's going to be hard to beat France, Spain, the United States. And Matildas don't have Sam Kerr. But it only takes, it's a it's a tournament you can win, you know, 12 teams. I don't know. It's going to be tough. It is. It is going to be tough. Um, so is, is Katie going to go? But a few funny things that have happened in the last couple months. Um, there was a cute picture. Um, Alana Kennedy she posted a picture, like a photo dump of from Australia, some of her teammates and some of the Matildas. But Caitlin Ford says, you didn't post the bum pic. Mm -hmm. And Alana Kennedy goes. And then Alana Kennedy said, like this comment if you want me to post the bum pic. <laughs> <laughs> and we always want a bum pic. Yes, yes. And Alana Kennedy did deliver and she posted it. You know, as we talked about her other bum pic we loved from Rome. Of course. Nice. Best bum. <laughs> and then Katie McCabe said, not bad. <laughs> <laughs> not bad at all, indeed. Katie says she likes what she sees. There was a picture and it was Katie and Caitlin. I hadn't seen that picture. And I don't know, very cinematic. I like it. Very artsy. Totally. Um, and then someone goes, where was that picture from? And apparently Katie's mom, who's kind of all about social media, she's really into social media, uh, posted that picture of uh, Katie and Caitlin. I'm sure with their permission. But uh, so sometimes, mom go, sometimes moms go rogue, though. <laughs> moms in the wild. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Super cute. And then also, uh, Katie McCabe has a Spotify playlist. And it's I believe the title of the Spotify playlist is number 19, which is Caitlin Ford's number. Or maybe it's actually called Caitlin's List. I'll have to look it up. Some people have kind of looked into the songs and what kind of the songs the meaning of. And it gets kind of deep. I haven't looked exactly. There's a song on there. You should probably leave. I mean, people could read into things like this. And there was one song from like the 1975 that someone goes, you have to listen to the lyrics. So... 
someone's hard, hit hard when um you have a Spotify playlist for you. Beautiful. You are beautiful. You are beautiful to me. And then one song from the 1975 called A Change of Heart. So, I mean, and I saw this on Tumblr, you know, could kind of read into the lyrics, which is helps with the fanfics. Fanfics I, I have always been popular. I feel like they're blowing up more than ever these days. Like, I've, I, Sarah used to read Scully, uh, um, no, Mulder and Scully fanfics. No, I didn't. Our last thing is also, Katie McCabe apparently is on snapchat like there's a few snapchats i didn't realize there she she posts some type of snapchats and i don't know yeah a bunch of celebrities have snapchat and they're still posting and apparently they can make a lot of money but here's a cute um snapchat of right here where she has flowers and avocados and so are you know katie was wondering if they were for her the flowers or the avocados are they for me yeah are they? Yeah. But the avocado or the flowers? Both. I love their language. It's, they sounded like the Sims to me. I'm, I'm sorry. They sounded like Sims. <laughs> yeah, they kind of did. But super cute. Yeah. Beautiful. Why wasn't that so cute? She bought her, fla- bought her flowers. Beautiful. I love tulips. Do you, I'm going to get you tulips tomorrow. Uh, but I actually will take avocados over tulips. Much more handy. Much tastier as well. Yes. <laughs> um, and then one more. I believe this was the Snapchat. Um... They're in the car in Rome, completed Rome, and then Caitlin just looks kind of over it, kind of tired, kind of ambivalent. That looks like one of the TikToks where someone just points to like some words and then they play like a video after. Oh yeah, total TikTok <laughs> moment. Actually, but Caitlin's face just looks exhausted because sightseeing is very exhausting, and she just looks exhausted. But Katie is on Snapchat, so if you're on Snapchat, add Katie because sometimes things happen there. That only happened there, you know. Yeah, it's like a secret club. Kind of, yeah. But yeah, that's kind of what's been going on with them. You know, like I said, the question is, Caitlin's been named to the team. Is Katie going to the Olympics to to support Caitlin? Yeah. Um, also, just some cute pictures from when they did go to Melbourne. And, and one year later, you know, I think a lot of people had a lot of opinions about everything. You know, at the time, Rusha seemed very hurt. Apparently, Rusha has a new girlfriend, <gasps> someone called Jade. Oh, my gosh. I love it. Yes. One year later, you know, lots of been going on. And like I said, that was about, oh, I love it. That was about as hard as the launch as they've done. Their pictures from Rome. And they're just like, this is it. And I mean, love it. So cute. So hot. You know why they decided to do like a launchy photo mm. in Rome? Because when in Rome. Oh, yes. When in Rome. Okay. I like that when in Rome you just launch. And Rome wasn't built in a day. How many of these are, or does it, does, you know, have Rome in them? <laughs> How many sayings? Yeah. <laughs> um, what does everyone think? Questions, comments down below. Are you a McFord fan? Are you a Katie and Caitlin stan? Are you, I mean, is this one of your couples? Or- and are you a Rome fan? Yes. Have you been to the Coliseum? I have not. Sarah has. Um, and has it changed at all in the last 10 years? <laughs> <laughs> Sarah says it might have. No. I, I take it back. Take it back. Okay. It was a joke. <laughs> Questions, comments down below. Although climate change oh, and erosion. Erosion. So it is different yeah hey, erosion that makes sense that's science yeah <laughs> we'll talk questions comments down below we'll talk to everyone later have a great day bye bye